in this lesson, I want to address paragraphs and all of the features that you can uh, that you have at your disposal regarding paragraphs. Now, a paragraph ends with this paragraph mark here. So anything that precedes it is part of that paragraph. A paragraph can be empty, right? Right here, we have an empty paragraph with absolutely nothing in it. Uh, your paragraph features are, are here, of course. Um, we'll get into bullets and numbers later. You've got the ability to left align, center, right align, basic stuff, um, and then justify, of course. Uh, some people aren't familiar with justify. Justify simply, if you look at this paragraph, it's flush on the left. If you want it to be also flush on the right, that's justify. And now, uh, it, it actually it made the spaces between the words a little bit wider so that it reaches the end. So every uh, line reaches the end except for the last line. So that's how justify comes about. And then you've got right align, center, and then left align, basic, real basic stuff. You've got line spacing inside of your paragraph. So if you change this, it'll change your line spacing throughout that paragraph. You don't have to select. Anything that you do to in here in paragraph affects the entire paragraph automatically. So you don't need to highlight every word in the paragraph. You have your ability to increase the indentation of a paragraph quickly this way. And it's going by half an inch at a time and then decrease it by half an inch at a time. Um, you can fill the content of a paragraph with shading or you can outline the paragraph. Uh, more importantly is this menu right here. All right, so you've got your alignment, which is your left, center, right, and then you got the ability to indent from the left and from the right. This is really important. So um, if I want them to be indented from the left and the right, I'm just increasing the indentation from the left 0.5 and from the right 0.5. And if I hit OK, you see that this paragraph is indented. Now, these are your indentation markers. It's really important that you understand what these are, right? This indents the entire paragraph from the right. And if I bring it back, this is no longer indented from the right. It's zero. If I come back to here, you'll see that it's, oh, I didn't quite get it. It's zero, all right? Now, these there's three of them here. The first one means first line indent. So if I bring the first line indent back, and they are independent of one another, right? So that removed the indent of the first line, and now every other line is indented. Um, I'm going to bring this back. If I grab the last one, that one indents every single line, right? So that is your entire indent. Now, I'm going to go back to this menu here. So left and right refer to this and refer to the bottom box right here. Special, if I only want a first line indent of let's say an inch. So now only the first line is indented. That was the same thing as if I would have just taken this little guy and said, give me a one line first line indent right there. Same effect, right? If I, if I take the other triangle this is called a hanging indent. You don't see this very often, but if I want the words to hang off of my title, I can do that, okay? And then if I wanted the same thing for this, I would grab the second one here and I would hang it off the title like this or after that, okay? So that's how you do what's called a hanging indent. Um, or if you wanna do it from this menu, you can. So you got first line or hanging. So if you want it to be hanging, you can have it hanging. So that's, those are your options for indenting a paragraph. Back to line spacing now. You can have spacing inside the paragraph. Okay, these are your choices. You got 1.5 double at least, at least refers to the font. So right now my font is 10. If I have at least of less than 10, then my words are gonna scrunch onto one another and they may not fit properly, okay? So you wanna probably stay at, see, it didn't go because it's at least, but if I said exactly six, you're gonna see that the, the words are gonna start to overlap, right? Because my spacing is set now for, for font that's smaller than that. So you probably don't want to go exactly less than what your font is. Typically, people will go a little bit more. So my font is 10. If I go 14, so my spacing is a little bit greater than it would be 
with tan font, right? This is the regular, so now it's just a little bit more. So many options for spacing. The, sing the simple ones are single, 1.5, double, all right? But just know that you've got at least exactly a multiple that are available to you. So if you're testing on that, you need to know that you can have multiple and set it to anything that you want. Three would be pretty extreme, right? That would look like that. Control one is single, control two is double, control five is one and a half if you like shortcuts. Uh, if you don't remember shortcuts, just know that you have the ability to come to this menu at any time. The before and after refers to just that. Do you want spacing before or after your paragraphs, right? And right now they're set at zero. And as a result, these are pretty tight together, right? All these are pretty tight. So typically in a document, most people will ask for spacing before and after. So we can go 12 before and 12 after. And now we've got a little bit of space between our paragraphs. It's a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit easier to read. So those are all your paragraph features. Now understand within any style, see this normal style here? I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to modify. And from here, I've got the ability to go to format and paragraph and ah, the exact same menu. So you are able to modify any style in a variety of ways, including these paragraph settings that we just visited. So understand where to find this menu, understand how to use the options in this menu, understand how to read your markers, your paragraph indentation markers, and also understand that having show hide on allows you to know where these spaces are coming from, all right? These aren't empty paragraphs here, right? And if, you're, if you wanna check, if I click, if I select this empty, this paragraph marker here, it's letting me know that this space is being generated by some spacing after some spacing after, all right? If I hit another enter, I got even more space because now I have this and I have an empty paragraph, okay?